so let's make a form. I'm going to switch over to my HTML. And inside of the modal body, I'm going to open up a form tag. And I'm going to use a few more Twitter Bootstrap classes to help style our inputs. First thing we're going to need to do is open up a div and give it a class of controls and controls row. If I can spell it right, controls dash row. All right. Now what controls uh, dash row does is very similar to uh, scaffolding. If you remember from the first few videos, we talked about using containers and rows and spans. Well, we kind of we can kind of do that with forms as well. And I'll show you really quick. Equals, equals text. We'll give it class equal to uh, go span three and placeholder equal to span three. And then I'll copy and paste that. And we'll give this one a span two. I'll hit save and I'll change this to two. Now I'll hit save. And I'll go back to my browser and refresh. And when I click on register, you'll see that the form is now uh, nicely organized. Uh, it goes by a total span of five. So you can use any span one through five and you have to make sure that your two inputs uh, don't go over that or else it'll throw everything off. If I were to change this to a span three really quick and refresh, you'll see that it it's off center now. So, anyway, let's go ahead and start with uh, span two. And for this placeholder, we'll put first name. And in this one, we'll put last name. And let's add a select. Put option and then just a couple of options. I'll put a uh, one, two, and three. And I'll hit save. Oh, one more thing. I have to make sure that I give it a class of span one so that it'll fit nice and neat in there. And I'll hit save. And then I'll refresh and hit register. And there we go. Now our form's nicely organized. Let's add a few more fields. We'll put the, uh, I believe the login had a username and I think password. So we can also add another group. And we'll make this one a control, actually. And we'll make this one a control group. And I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to copy and paste these two. And add another one. And in this one we'll put username. And in the second one we'll put email. And then the third one, we'll just put confirm email. I'm going to make each of these a span five. So we'll stretch across our, our modal window. And hit save. And I'll go check it out really quick. Register. There we go. So we've got a first name, last name, a random select option, uh, username, email, and confirm email. Let's, uh, I'm going to add a checkbox here and I'll just grab it from our login form. Scroll back down. We're under our control group. 
Oh, I guess I didn't copy it right. So I'm going to copy this. There we go. I don't know what happened. But instead of just having a class of checkbox, I'm going to have, or I'm going to add inline to that because I want to add a couple more. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it. Instead of this, I'm going to have HTML, CSS, and I'll put JavaScript, and put PHP here. I'm also going to add what's called a helper class, and that's good for instructions, form instructions. And it's not called helper class, it's actually called help block. And I'll put, I love to learn, learn how to spell. I love to learn about, uh, close that. And I'll save it, switch back to my browser and refresh. So there we go. Instead of our checkboxes being stacked uh, vertically, we have them displayed in line, horizontally. And I added the help block, or the help, yeah, the help block, to just provide some additional instructions. Uh, that's pretty much it for the form, but I want to add a few more items. We can add a tool tip, and that's done pretty easily. I'm just going to open up a, a tag. And. Actually, this is going to be kind of long, so I'm going to just create a new line just so you can read it. And it's going to have a class of nothing. It's going to have an ID equal to tip. We're also going to need this attribute. Um, set it to tool tip. And we're going to need to use data animation. I'm going to set that to true. Also going to need data original title equal to uh, this will actually be the, the content inside of our tooltip. I'll just put tooltip and we're going to want it to float on the right side and I'm going to have to make another line so we do that by adding the data placement attribute and then I put right so I want it to float to the right and that should be it um, for this to work however we're going to actually have to write a line of JavaScript really easy nothing confusing and make sure it's below this bootstrap and below jQuery otherwise it's not going to work because it's actually going to be written in jQuery and it's really easy to use you see dollar sign open parentheses dot tooltip oh, open parentheses and then close it semicolon and inside of here we're going to need to select our tooltip and we gave it an ID of tip I'm going to hit save, uh, switch over to the browser, and hit refresh. Click on register, and you see nothing. It's because I forgot to put something in here, so apologies. Now we'll try it. And there we go. There's our cool tooltip. Sometimes forms have required fields, and they usually have some pretty good indicators that uh, something's required. To do that, we're going to add a p tag with a class of label. And we'll give it label info. You could also put danger or warning or primary success in this area. And what that means is it'll just change the color. We'll put uh, info for this. I'll just put required. 
close that. And if you remember, I gave our div right here a class of control group. You have to have that class in order to use uh, another feature of Bootstrap that will style your uh, input element. So I'm going to put input info here. Then I'll just copy and paste it down to the others. I'll save it. And I forgot one more thing. I have to put class of info. So now we save it. Go back to our browser and hit refresh. And now you'll see our label with the background of this shade of blue matches the borders of our input elements. Not the best way to implement uh, some type of required markup, but uh, it was really just to show you how you can change the uh, colors of these. Now this really comes in handy for form validation. And just to give you an example, if I was to change all of these to warning, warning, save, and refresh, it changes all of them to red. Um, you would normally achieve this kind of stuff with some Ajax or PHP, but this is really just to show you what a bootstrap has to offer. I'm going to change that back to info. I'll just undo all those changes. And that's going to be it for our registration form. Um, we learned quite a bit. We learned about labels, uh, aligning elements within a form, we added a nice, uh, our cool tooltip, and our check group. In my next video, I'm going to add some content. Um, right below the login and I think what we'll do is an accordion.